All right, we're going to talk about expenses now. <clears throat> Particularly, what percent of the expenses are spent on each thing. So notice here we have a chart with Fisher's expenses. It's a commercial bakery. Their payroll is this much advertising, raw materials, um, bakery rent, office supplies, insurance, and utilities. And then we have the total expenses for the year down here. Oh, for the second quarter, excuse me. And here's what they want to know. What percent of the total expenses did Fisher's Commercial spend on advertising? Well, to find the percent of something, you take its amount divided by the total. It's just like our formula says, the percent of the total is that particular expense divided by the total expenses. So we want to first find how much did they spend on advertising. So we go to our chart, and here we have advertising was $6,402.66. We need to divide that by the total expenses, which notice are down here at the bottom of our chart. And that will help us find what percent of their expenses are from advertising. So we go ahead and divide $6,402.66. Divided by 459,438 dollars and 26 cents. We get 0.013935. Okay, we <clears throat> want to write that as a percent. So we move the decimal back two places to the right. And I get about 1.39%. It didn't say what to round to, but you don't want to go too far out. So I had 1.3935, I think 1.39 is far enough. So 1.39% of all of their expenses are spent on advertising. Okay, so here again we have Fisher's Commercial Bakery. The second quarter of year, what percent of the total expenses did they spend on rent to the nearest tenth of a percent? Okay, so this time we want to know what percent was spent on rent. So let's find rent. There it is. Here's the rent for both the store and the bakery is $13,525. So again, we take that expense divided by the total expenses, which again are down here at the bottom of our chart. Okay, so 13,525 divided by 459, 438.26. And I get 0 0.029438. Again, I'm going to move the decimal two places left. This time it says to round to the nearest tenth of a percent, so I know how far to go. Move the decimal two places to the right to change it to a percent. And now I'm at 2.9438. It wants the nearest tenth, which is one place after the decimal. So I end up with 2.9% is spent on rent. All right, here we have Saniel's dry cleaning and laundry services for the first quarter of the year. Here is their chart of expenses. Which expense category are less than 5% of the total expenses? Okay, so let's find some of these percentages and see which ones are under 5% and we want to list all of them that are. So we're going to take, again, the particular expense divided by the total expenses. To save a little room, I'm just going to write my division here. So we take, for payroll, we would take the payroll divided by the $45,073.75. That's our total down here at the bottom. And that will help me find the percentage. It looks like about half. So I'm guessing this one's way too high, but I wanted to check it just, you know, you want to always make sure your estimates are reasonable. Okay, so when I do that, I get 0.5276. Move the decimal over. So this one is at about 53%. So that's definitely not less than 5%. Okay, 
So I'm going to go down and do the same for all of these. I'm just going to write the word total here. But when I say total, I mean $45,073.75. So I'm going to do that for each one so I can see about what percentage they're at. Okay, when I divide that one, I get 0 0.006655. Move the decimal two places to the left excuse me, the right, and I get 0.66%. That's definitely less than 5%. So advertising goes on my list. Okay, um, this next one looks like it will probably join the group, but I'll try it just in case. So we take the $800 divided once again by that total. and I get 0 0.0177. Move the decimal over to write it as a percent, and it's about 1.77%. So that definitely joins the list. So chemicals and materials is on the list also. Okay, we go to the next one. This one might be close. Store rent of $3,300. Again, I'm going to divide that by our total. And you get the idea. We're just going down the chart, finding the percentage of each. Okay, this one comes up as 0 0.0732. Move the decimal two places to the right to write it as a percent, and we get 7.3%. So that is not less than 5. That one's not on the list. I'm, this one was not on my list. This one is not on my list. I go next to office supplies. I'm going to take the office supplies divided by the total. <clears throat> so 925. I divide, I get 0 0.0205. Move the decimal two places to the right to write it as a percent, and that's 2.05%. So once again, less than 5%, that would be on my list of things that are less than 5% of the expenses. Okay, we only have two more to check. This one looks like it will probably work, and this one looks a little too big. <clears throat> but we can go ahead and do that. If I take the insurance divided by the total, so 950 probably going to be very close to our last one. And it is. This one gives me 0 0.021. Again, 2.1%. Okay, and the last one here, I'll do at the bottom, $15,016.25 divided by $45,073.75 gives me 0.33, move the decimal over, that's 33.3%. Okay, so this one is also not on the list. It's not less than 5. It's 33%. So um, I need to add insurance to my list because that was one that did work out. So which of them were less than 5% of the total each? Advertising, chemicals, office supplies, and insurance. 